All right, so we're working at the shop today, and one of the little trucks that I service, uh, actually one type of truck that I service, is a K truck, KEI, and this is a prime example of that. This is a 1993 four-wheel drive Mitsubishi. I think it's called a mini cab. There may be another name for it, but it is made by Mitsubishi Motors. You can see the seven inch round headlights kind of gives it an older style. It is four by four and pretty utilitarian. And I thought I'd go through a few things. For one thing, can you guys see this truck? You're not looking at just a blank black hole because it is camouflaged. Maybe it blends into the uh, background, the backdrop to where you can't see it. I'm just kidding. It is camouflaged on the outside and it is camouflaged on the inside. I don't want to say it's a rough truck. I'm sure it's somebody's pride and joy, but it's been used. Uh, this is a, a, a good old truck. Uh, it used to be blue, apparently, from the factory, which is sort of a rare color. Uh, it has a, uh, a white face gauge, a very, very well used interior. As you can see, the upholstery is not perfect by any means, but very utilitarian, very Spartan. We're going to go over this truck a little bit. These are becoming really popular. Now, as I said, this is a four wheel drive truck, but if you look at the wheels, those are not really four wheel drive wheels. These are like drift car wheels. I'm not sure what's up with that. They are 12 inch wheels and I don't think they're ATV wheels, but they could be. They have like 50 series tires on them. Excuse me, 40 series tires. That's a 40 series tire. That's pretty 215, 40, 10, uh, 12. Wow. So uh, that kind of lowers the truck down, you can see, and um, gives it that sporting appearance, which I'm not so sure if you want that for a farm truck. You can see it's got the triangle in the rear window. That means it's used on a farm and no plate. It does have a hitch and very worn tailgate. Uh, that's going to snap in half. So on these trucks, all the gates fold down, not just the tailgate, but the side gates as well. So the side gates fold flat, the tailgate folds flat, and you have a, a flat loading surface. You have a, uh, a storage box here for all, some types of treasure, your battery, uh, mud flaps, and exhaust tailpipe, and all the other things that you'd have. This is the passenger side of the truck, and you can see it's very, very Spartan. Um, it does have air conditioning, which is a surprise. That's what this button is right here. Um, and some heater controls, AM, FM radio, or is it AM, FM? It's probably a Japanese radio, which in other words only has Japanese frequencies and it's probably only AM. I don't see FM on there. And then you would actuate the four-wheel drive by lifting this lever. So uh, maybe we should take it for a drive. The windshield is incredibly dirty. I don't know if you're going to be able to see much. When this truck came in, it didn't run at all. Uh, the carburetor was gummed up, which is pretty typical for th trucks that sit around. Uh, this one, I think, has been used quite a bit, but I'm not sure why the carburetor gummed up. So uh, I guess we'll take it for a drive. Um, let's see how much fuel it has in it. We're not going to go far. So you would get in on the right-hand side because it is a right-hand drive vehicle. And oh my, the windshield is very, very dirty. We've got our camouflage interior, like I said. Door hinges are really wonky. Let's see if it starts. Oh, it starts up just fine. Uh, we've got our stick shift here. We're not going to go four wheeling. So, first gear would be the opposite of what you think over and up. And I'll let the clutch out. The clutch feels strong. Make sure nobody's coming. It's a bright, sunny day today. Sorry, the windshield is so dirty. Actually runs pretty good. It's pretty zippy. It's got power steering. Wow, that's cool. None of these things have power steering. This one's got power steering. It's just light as a feather. That's second gear, or third gear. Left hand here. I can't believe it's got power steering. Windshield is filthy. We're just going to do a little turn around here. We don't have much gas, as you can see, we have empty. It runs good though. 
runs so much better than when it did when it got dropped off because it didn't run at all. Uh oh, he dropped his homework. So yeah, these are pretty cool little trucks. They're becoming more and more popular. I love them. I think they're fantastic. I'll give you an engine shot here to pull up. It's carbureted. Again, it's a 1993. And we do have the catalytic converter over heat light on. That's what this light is right, right there. And that's pretty typical. It's like an EGT sensor. So the engine is actually under the seat. We would just flip the flippers. You had to put the seat down like this, and you flip it up like this, and the engine is right there. I got to hold the seat up. Again, it's 660 cc's. A little side draft carburetor right there. You can see the alternator, the air conditioning, and the radiator. This one has the radiator right up against the motor. Some of them have it up at the front of the vehicle. A uh, pretty compact unit. Let's go underneath and I'll show you a little more. See the oil pan right there laying outside. We got a transmission. Goes to a short drive shaft to the rear end. Pretty compact, neat little vehicle. Again, this one is four wheel drive. Yeah, it's four wheel drive and it's got some crazy 40 series tires that are pretty bald. neat little truck. I really like these things. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks for checking out this uh, 1993 Mitsubishi micro cab or mini cab, a little four wheel drive pickup with 40 series tires. Thanks for watching.